Thanks for joining us on The Engine Room on Bomber TV, proudly brought to you by True Value Solar. Today we've got Welly and also Macca with us here on The Engine Room. We're currently at the bar in the players room at Windy Hill. Boys, it's been a tough couple of weeks. How is the mental stability, I guess, of, of the players and the confidence heading into this week? Well, we're at the bar, mate. We're not in the bar, are we? <laughs> no. That, that's one consolation. <laughs> we're just, folks, we're just standing against it. Standing uh, uh, Or leaning against it. It has been a rough, a rough five weeks. Uh, partly due to our poor form and some good opposition form. But we've, we're still very positive. We've kept uh, every Monday, Sean, the same. Uh, take positives out of the game. Look at things we think we can do better. Uh, we've kept working hard with the players individually, kept working hard with each area of the ground. And we hope to perhaps uh, start moving the ball a little better and defend a little bit better against some good opposition this week. We had the main session today. How was it, Willie? Very, very good. And the conditions were good and the, and the guys, you know, obviously after a disappointing performance, you're looking for guys to bounce back really quickly and, uh, and uh, one way to really improve your next week performance is the, the quality of your training and how you go about, to, go about your work during the week. So it was really pleasing today. We had a really, really good session. So, and usually that actually transfers into the game, being our main session. So uh, you know, we're looking forward to Saturday night. Got a fair few injuries at the moment, which certainly aren't an excuse, but it means there'll be an opportunity for other players, Macca. And one of those players that's been playing well in the VFL is Ariel Steinberg. How's he progressing? Yeah, Ariel's a really talented young fella, and I know people that have watched our Bendigo games would have seen some of the special things he does. Uh, he's like most young players, though. They have ups and downs with their footy. They play well one week, and then the next week they get a better opponent on them. He kicked a few goals two weeks ago and then ran into a, a stronger team this week. Uh, he's an exciting player, he's, he's just starting to get his head around the day in, day out demands of the game where you, you need to keep doing extra weights, keep working on your skills, keep, keep fronting up with a positive outlook and, and still train well and put yourself in the drills at training and, and sort of demand that the ball be kicked to you but the end product we think will be a pretty good player, he's, uh, the things he's shown at VFL will indicate that he'll, he'll be a, a pretty uh, difficult opponent. A few, a few Bombers supporters getting a little bit excited about their number 18 and number 25 running around again in the forward line. One of the other questions we had early on the social media channels was about Jakey Carlisle and where he sort of fits into the equation. Is he a chance to come into the side this week or this year and uh, where do you see him playing forward or back? Well, if he keeps performing as he is at Bendigo at the moment, there's no doubt that he'll get some opportunities. Um, the last month he's played most of his football um, in the back half. Um, but he also has had stints up forward and most of the supporters would have seen him at AFL level as a forward. Um, we think he's developing really nicely. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's putting in a lot of work um, physically, trying to get better. He actually, um, he's got a good attitude in terms of put it, working on uh, uh, parts of his game, coming to see the coaches. Um, and uh, we're starting to see that in his performance. He played really well on the weekend he's, and then the weekend before as well against some quality opposition. And, uh, he took some good marks and uh, showed some real composure when he had the footy as well. So um, there's no doubt that if he keeps playing the way he is, he'll get he'll, opportunities will present. The whole team's been down a little bit on confidence, obviously, in the last sort of five weeks, and the results suggest that. And Paddy Ryder's been one of those players, Macca. Um, how, how's he going and uh, how's he looking heading into this week? Played some pretty decent footy against Freo and Kangaroos. Didn't have a great first half, but got himself out of it after half time. But not many of his teammates had good, good second quarters last Friday night. So, Paddy trained exceptionally well today. We, we, we have a commitment to persist with Patrick. Uh, a lot of people are telling us we should play him here, we should play him there, we should take him out of the team. As a group, we're quite committed to developing Paddy, getting him bigger and stronger, and using him where we think best, and that is as a ruckman forward, forward ruckman. Uh, the best of Paddy Ryder, we won't see. Straight away, he, he's, he's like a lot of young players, he'll just progressively get better. He's, he has a love of the game and he, he loves playing the game and wants to be a fantastic guest in the football. So we need some patience, we need ongoing education and we need him to grow into his body and mature mentally and physically and the end product's going to be pretty good, we feel. Coming up against the old side this week, Mac, mm. for you and Bomber, what are the feelings there? Uh, oh, we have a healthy respect for them because we've... Uh, spent so much with them and involved in so many memorable moments with them. So we, we do respect them, but we we work at Essendon now. We we love working at Essendon. We're Essendon people now. 
we're part of the coaching staff here and they're just another opposition. Uh, the rivalry with us leaving in Geelong, and I, we can understand the interest, but for us it's a game of footy. We, we want to try and get a win for our footy club on the weekend. Absolutely, boys. Thanks for joining us. Good luck. No worries. Thanks, Jared.